हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई पुष्पिंदर कौर वेलकम यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर बेस्ड ऑन चैप्टर एल्कोहल्स फिनोल्स एंड इथर्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द वेरियस केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फिनोल्स द फर्स्ट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फिनोल्स इज द इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शंस ऑफ द फिनोल्स ड्यू टू द एरोमेटिक रिंग फिनोल्स अंडरगो द इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शंस ऑन द एरोमेटिक रिंग In this reaction, the hydrogen atom of the benzene ring get replaced by the various electrophiles. In this case, the hydroxyl group present in case of the phenols helps in the ring substitution. The hydroxyl group in the phenol is the activating group, and it directs the incoming electrophile to the ortho position and the para position due to the electron rich positions. Due to the resonance effect caused by the hydroxyl group, the phenol shows the acidic character, and due to the acidic character of the phenols, the uh, ortho position and the para position of the benzene ring become electron rich, and the electrophile get attached to the ortho position and the para position. This uh, uh, this can be shown by the resonance structures like in the oxygen atom having the two lone pair of the electron. this lone pair of the electron get shifted towards the benzyl ring due to the plus r effect and pair of the electrons get stabilized by the benzene ring by the resonance effect this is clearly seen in this resonance structures by the transferring of the electrons the only ortho and para positions becomes the electron rich therefore the electrophile get attacks only on the ortho and the para positions the first electrophilic substitution reactions is a halogenation reactions in this case phenols get brominated to give 246 dry bromophenol by using the bromine solution in the in in acetic acid or even in the bromine water the three bromines atoms are occupy the ortho and the para position with respect to the phenol the three bromine atoms occupy the ortho and the para position with respect to the phenol group but if we want to get the mono substituted products the phenols uh, are treated with the bromine at the low temperature in the presence of the non polar solvents like the bromine in the carbon disulfide or the ca carbon tetrachloride and the reason of the formation of the different products in the different kind of the solvent is clearly explained on the basis of the ionization as in case of the aqueous solution like the water and the acetic acid the phenols get ionized uh, to give the phenoxide ions which shares the lone pair of the electron with the aromatic ring therefore the activating the same for further electrophilic substitution reactions due to the enhanced electron density also in the polar solvent it favors the formation of the bromine ion which act as a electrophile on the other hand in case of the non polar solvent phenols ionize in very small amount and thus the hydroxyl group donate the electrons to the benzene ring only to the small extent thereby the activating the aromatic ring only slightly therefore only mono substituted products will be formed in case of the non polar solvents the next electrophilic substitution reaction of the phenols is the nitration nitration depending upon the nature of the nitrating agents the different products will be obtained for example if we are taking the dilute nitric acid uh, the dilute nitric acid means the 10% or the 20% of the sulfuric acid is dissolved in the 90% of the water then the ortho and the para nitrophenols will form on the other hand if the phenols react with the concentrated nitric acid then it will form the 246 tri nitrophenol which is also known as a picric acid we can separate the ortho and the para isomers by the steam distillation as ortho of the ortho nitrophenol and the para nitrophenol para nitrophenols are less volatile as comparison to the ortho nitrophenol because in case of the para nitrophenol there is a intermolecular hydrogen bonding is present which is much stronger as comparison to the intramolecular hydrogen bonding which is present in case of the ortho nitrophenol due to the less volatile in nature 
the para nitrophenols having the greater boiling point as comparison to the ortho nitrophenols and we can separate these mixtures by the steam distillation and the yield of the picric acid in the reaction is very low hence we can oxidize in these solutions firstly with the sulfuric acid then with the concentrated nitric acid now the next reaction is the sulfonation when we treat the phenol with the concentrated sulfuric acid it undergoes the sulfonation by giving the mixtures of the ortho and the para sulfonating products and the uh, out of the para and the ortho products para isomers are the thermodynamically more stable than the ortho isomers due to the better symmetry the formation of the ortho and the para products can be shown by the change in the temperatures only as in both cases sulfuric acid is used as a reagent and the water molecule is formed as a by product if the temperature is low and is that if the temperature is low in between the 288 to the 293 kelvin then the two phenol sulfonic acid is formed means the ortho product is formed and if the temperature is high about the 373 kelvin the, then the para phenol sulfonic acid will form and it will form the major product due to the better symmetry the next reaction is the friedel craft alkylation in case of the friedel craft alkylation when the phenols are treated with the alkyl halide in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride at the it undergoes a friedel craft alkylation reactions and forming the para isomers and the ortho isomers of the carosols as the para products are more stable due to the better symmetry similarly in case of the friedel craft acylation the phenols get treated with the acidic anhydride in the presence of aluminum chloride to give ortho hydroxyl acetophenone and the para hydroxyl acetophenone and again same, uh, same the para products are the major product and the ortho products are the minor products due to the better symmetry next one is the uh, some important uh, chemical reactions the these are the naming reactions and these reactions uh, used direct in the exams the first reaction is the kolbe's reactions in the kolbe's reaction the sodium phenoxide the sodium phenoxide is formed by treating the phenols with the sodium hydroxide and when this sodium phenoxide is heated with the carbon dioxide at the 390 kelvin to 400 kelvin temperature under the pressure of 5 to 7 atmosphere a carboxylic group is introduced mainly at the ortho position with respect to the phenolic group to form ortho hydroxy benzene benzoic acid in the presence of the acidic medium two hydroxy benzoic acid the the, the common name of the two hydroxy benzoic acid is the salicylic acid similarly in case of the oxidation reaction the phenols get treated with the sodium dichromate in the presence of the sulfuric acid and the water molecules the phenols get converted into the benzophenyl the next naming reaction is a rimer thimer reaction remember these reactions directly come uh, in the exam by the naming reactions okay these are the very important naming reactions in the rimer thimer reaction the phenols is treated with the chloroform in the presence of the alkalis like the such as the sodium hydroxide and the potassium hydroxide at the temperature of 340 kelvin then the major product of the two hydroxy benza aldehyde is formed that is also known as the salicylic aldehyde in this reaction what happen when the phenols is treated with the chloroform in the presence of uh, some base it will form the intermediate which on the retreatment with the base the two molecules of the sodium chloride will removed and uh, on the heating here the water molecules will get removed and it will form the uh, phenoxide ions and this phenoxide ions on treated with the uh, acidic solution give the salicylic aldehyde as a major product remember in case of the kolbe's reaction the salicylic acid is the major product reaction the salicylic aldehyde is formed and the aldehyde group is 
present at the ortho position with respect to the phenol. This is your homework. The write the structures of the major and the minor product expected to form in the following reactions. The first is a mononitration of the 3 methylphenol, dinitration of the 3 methylphenol, and the mononitration of the phenyl methanoid. And then these are the reactions in the in this question you have to give the only chemical equations. The next one is a 3 methyl butane 2 ol is treated with the HBr. The following reaction is take places. You have to propose the mechanism of this reaction. Here you have to show the uh, 1 to methyl shift or the 1 to hydride shift by showing the major product formation. Okay. The next is a some commercially important alcohols the first is the methanol methanol can be prepared by heating the carbon monoxide with the hydrogen in the presence of copper oxide zinc oxide and the chromium oxide at the temperature condition 573 kelvin to 673 kelvin temperature uh, this methanol is also known as a wood separate the properties of the methanol is it is a colorless liquid and the highly poisonous is nature. It is completely soluble in water due to the formation of the hydrogen bond. The next it, it is used as a solvent for the paints, varnishes and the making the formaldehyde. The next one is the ethanol. The ethanol can be prepared by the fermentation reaction of the glucose and the sugar molecules. First of all, the sugar molecules on the hydrolysis in the presence of the inverters converted into the glucose and the fructose. This process is known as a fermentation and the uh, this uh, glucose molecules in the presence of the zymase catalyst can get converted into the ethanol along with the carbon dioxide. The properties of the ethanols are the ethanol is a colorless liquid. The boiling point of the ethanol is higher than the methanol and the uses is it is used as a solvent in the paint industry and it is also used in the preparation of the number of the carbon compounds. And the, uh, the next question is important, the denaturation of the alcohols. In, uh, in the case of the denaturation of the alcohols, the commercial alcohols is made unfit for the drinking by mixing in it in the some copper sulfate and the pyridine that process is known as the denaturation of the alcohols as ethanol is the main component of the uh, drinkable alcohols make made unfit for the drinking by mixing the copper sulfate and the pyridines we will discuss the distinction between the alcohols and the phenols we will distinguish between alcohols and the phenols by the two tests. The one is the iodoform test and the second one is the ferric chloride test. In case of the iodoform test, the alcohols are treated with the iodine in the presence of the base. It will form triiodomethane or it is also known as the iodoform. In this case, the yellow precipitates of the iodoform will form and while in case of the phenols and the methanol do not give this uh, test as the main condition for the iodoform test is the alpha hydrogen atom must be present with the alpha carbon atom and in case of the ferric chloride test the phenols are treated with the freshly prepared ferric chloride and on the treatment with the ferric chloride and the phenols the violet color complex will form while in the next one is a how will you distinguish between the different type of the alcohols as we know that there are the three kind of the alcohols are present one is the primary alcohol second one is the secondary alcohols and the third one is the tertiary alcohols the main question is how will you test the we have whether we have the primary alcohol secondary alcohols and the tertiary alcohols the first test to distinguish the three types of the alcohols is the locas test or the time test as we know that the anhydrous zinc chloride mixed with the concentrated hydrochloric acid give the locus reagent. When the primary alcohols are treated with the concentrated hydrochloric acid and the anhydrous zinc chloride, the no reaction will take place and the no cloudiness will formed at the room temperature. The cloudiness will appear only at the on the heating. The second one is the uh, when the secondary alcohols are treated with the concentrated hydrochloric acid and the anhydrous zinc chloride that is the locus test it will give the white cloudiness of the alkyl chloride or the turbidity will appear after 2 to 5 minutes.
and in case of the tertiary alkoholes which are the highly reactive towards this locus reagent the white cloudiness or the turbidity appears immediately by this method we will test the three type of the alcohols present and the next test is the victor meyer test this test is very important in the victor meyer test is used to differentiate the behavior of the primary secondary and the tertiary alcohols towards a nitro acid the test is involved the uh, three steps in the first case the given alcohol is treated with the concentrated hydrohydric acid in the primary alcohol secondary alcohols and the tertiary alcohol in the first step they are all are treated with the hydrogen iodide solution and they will form the ido alkanes the next the these ido alkanes are treated with the nitro alkanes by the treatment of these ido alkane with the silver nitrate solutions alkanes are finally treated with nitrous acid the nitrous acid is a mixture of the sodium nitrate plus dilute hydrochloric acid nitro uh, uh, nitrous acid when they treated with the nitrous acid in case of the primary alcohols and the pseudo nitrol in case of the secondary alcohols while the tertiary alcohols do not respond to this nitrous acid solutions in case of the primary alcohols when they are treated with the nitrous acid they give the nitrolic acid which having the red blood color while in case of the secondary alcohol the pseudo nitrile will form which gives on the treatment with the base give the blue color while the tertiary alcohols do not give any kind of the solution it means if the red blood color is formed then the given alcohol is the primary alcohol if the blue color will form then the secondary alcohols are present and if no color formation of the colorless solution will obtain then the given alcohol is the tertiary alcohols This is the end of the alcohols and the phenols thank you have a nice day